My name is Jordan Hess and I am from Fort Worth, Texas and I love math. And so I, I hope that you really enjoy this presentation and if you have any questions, feel free to send them my way. I'll be happy to do my best to answer them. Today we're going to be looking at iterative disposal processes and so what those are is like Basically, we're gonna, we have the set of naturals, we're gonna be applying the, these iterative disposal processes uh, to this set of naturals. And so we're gonna stick our hand into the set, we're gonna pull out a number, and we're gonna look and see whether that number is even or odd. If it's even, we're gonna throw it out. And if it's odd, we're gonna put it back. And so how many times do we repeat this? We're gonna repeat this exactly as many times as there are natural numbers. And how are we gonna do that? How do we solve something like that? Well. We're going to start first by considering just the set that has the number one. How many times does this process iterate? That's right, just one time. And so we'll draw a, a number one, right? And then we'll look at the set that results and we end up with the same set, right? And so we have some notation to describe this. We'd say for what we draw, we will call that little r for the arrangement. And for the set that results, we'll call that cap r. And then we'll look, we have a value called the probability even. It says if we stuck our hand into the resultant set, what's the probability that we draw an even member? In the case that there are no evens, it's zero. And then we say, well, okay, okay. But what about if you had two numbers? Okay, well, um, think for a second on what you might could draw. Okay, so you could draw a one, one, you could draw a one, two, or you could draw a two, one. Okay, and then we'll think about the set that results. Well, you didn't hit the two, right? So the two's still there. And here you hit the two in both of these cases. So you're just left with a set that contains the number one. And you would say, if you stuck your hand into the resultant set, what's the probability you pick an even? Well, one half, zero, zero. And then you say, well, what's the probability that I draw a one and then a one, okay? What's the probability of that given arrangement? Well, so what we're going to do, we're going to say the probability of drawing a 1 on the first turn is 1 half, and a 1 on the second turn is 1 half. Well, that's 1 fourth. Then we say, well, what about a 1 on the first turn and 2 on the second turn? Same thing. It's also 1 fourth. 1 half times 1 half. And here, a 1 half probability of drawing a 2 on the first turn, but then we throw it out, and what's left is a 1. We have 100% probability of drawing that, right? And so that's one half. And you could add those, and those would add to one, of course. And so here, to get this weighted probability, we have to take the probability even and multiply it by the probability of occurrence. So here we get one eighth. Here we get zero, and here we get zero. And then we just sum down, and that is what we get for a set that contains only two members. And so then we'll, what we'll, you'll do is you'll say, well, what about it for a set with three members or four members or five members? And so as we add more and more members, okay, we will start to plot these values. And so we have this um, probability even here, this, this mean probability even, and we have n for how many members does our set contain. And the graph will look something like this. Okay, and with it tapering off here at about 0.21. And the, our goal is to determine uh, by the end of this uh, presentation exactly what that value is. And so we have an additional goal of looking at this process iterating half as many times. But what does that mean? So before we said we're going to iterate for as many times as we have members and we're applying it to the set of naturals. And now we're gonna do it half as many times. And so, like here, so we normally we would iterate twice, but we're gonna iterate once, right? And so we could draw one or we could draw two, and then we're gonna look at the set that results. And so we never hit the two. So that's what we're left with. And here we did hit the two, so that's what we're left with. And then what's the probability even? If we the, would you know, draw from the resultant set, one half, and here, zero, there are no evens. And what's the probability of drawing a one from this set? Well, one half. 
What's the probability of drawing in two from the original set? Well, it's one half. Now we're going to multiply the P even times the probability of their arrangement, and that's one fourth, that's zero, and we're gonna add down, and that gets one fourth. And that's the solution for when there's two members. And then we'll ask in a similar way as we scale from the finite back up to the case where we're looking at applying the iterative disposal process to the entirety of natural. So we'll then look at when we have four members, one, two, three, four, and we'll draw twice, right? And when we have the numbers one through six, and we'll draw three times and so forth. And whereas in the original process, we were looking at a value that converged to approximately 0.21, here we're looking at a value that is converging to approximately 0.36, and we're going to see if we can find some closed forms for these. And now we're ready to tackle the, the uh, question of what is the closed form for those values? Can we, can we attempt to find that? And so how we're going to do that, we're going to kind of uh, look at a variant of this process, and that variant details drawing all the numbers at one time. And so, uh, but how are we going to do that? Well, so we're going to take the unit interval, and we're, gonna, we're not going to cut it up into two pieces. We're not going to cut it up into three pieces or four or five. We're going to cut it up into as many pieces as there are natural numbers. And so what that requires is for each of these pieces, to be infinitesimal in measure. And so here um, we might say, okay, well, what if we grab up the entire unit interval in a single turn? Okay, well then, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the unit interval and half of it's even, so one half is even, and we're going to get rid of that, right? And so all that's gonna be left is this one half right here and this one half is odd well then we say what if instead we instead of grabbing up the entire interval in a single turn we grab it up over two turns well do we have to touch every number no we don't have to touch every number but we do have to grab up a total amount that equals the whole interval so it, in other words the we have to grab up an interval of one half and then another interval of one half. Let's take a look. And so we first start with the unit interval, okay? And we grab up half the interval, one half. And so that means that half of a half, which is a fourth, is even. And so we're gonna get rid of a fourth. And so here we have a fourth that's odd. And you can think about here we ha also have one fourth, that's odd. And we have one fourth even that's left, okay? And so that means from here we have a length of three fourths that's left. And the probability of an even in that interval is one third, right? And so then we wanna say, okay, we need to grab up a half again. Okay, so we grab up a half again and we need to filter off the even. So we're going to say one half times one third and that's going to be one six. That's how many evens we're going to get rid of, right? And so then we take, we want to know how much interval is going to remain. So we're going to take our total interval. We're going to, to subtract off the interval represented by the evens that are being removed. Okay, and so that is going to give 18 over 24 minus 4 over 24, which gives 14 over 24, which is equal to 7 over 12. And then we want to know um, how many evens are left. So we started off with this many evens, okay, and now we're going to subtract off those evens, right? And so that gives... 6 over 24 minus 4 over 24, and that equals 2 over 24 or 1 over 12. And so to get the probability even, when we take our total number of iterations over two turns, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how many evens are left and divide it by the interval. And what we get is 
one seventh. And so then we can say, what if we took it over three terms? Okay, so we look here. And then what if we took it over four terms? Okay, and as we take it, as we take this process over more and more turns, the size of the interval over which we are taking our turns grows smaller and smaller. And so we extend this process out towards infinity and the interval ends up collapsing and we end up taking our turns over uh, single values, which is what we intended to do in the first place. Now that allows us to solve for the closed form. So we had this approximately 0.21 and we had the approximately 0.36 values that we were looking for the closed forms for when we extended from the finite to the case in which we're applying this iterative disposal process over the entire set of naturals. And so in this instance, we get the product log, okay, of one over E divided by one plus the product log of one over E. And in this case, we get the product log of one divided by one plus the product log of one.